More than 13 large-scale oil spills have occurred over the last 37 years. Deepwater Horizon BP spill was one of the worst, with 210 million gallons of oil spilled in the Gulf of Mexico. The effects of the spill are still apparent today and affect wildlife habitat, ecosystems, economics, and human life in general. Many techniques for cleaning gold exist, but they're not perfect. The boom technique where big floaters are used to deflect and contain oil spills are commonly used. They concentrate the oil high enough in order for it to be either vacuumed or skimmed off the surface later on. Using another method, 1.8 million gallons of Corexit were used to emulsify or separate the oil from the water. There is a pressing need for an efficient, environmentally benign, affordable oil sponge with high potential capacity. This is the challenge that our group accepted this semester. Amin was the group leader. He led group meetings, spearheaded communications, and was involved in computation. Griffin was the research team leader. He scheduled lab times, organized testable ideas, and was an experimentalist. Alan was the treasurer. He was responsible for material acquisition, review of literature, and was an experimentalist. Katie was the secretary. She took meeting minutes, reviewed literature, and was an experimentalist. Eric was the assistant deputy group leader. He acted as intra-team liaison, networked with numerous faculty, and was involved in computation. John was the lead programmer. He led the computational team, set up simulation environments, and analyzed computational results. In this project, we aim to design a porous graphene sponge for oil sorption. Recently, the Tor group at Rice University developed an inexpensive and scalable technique to fabricate for porous graphene. Here, a sheet of commercially available polyamide film, also known as Captain Film, is radiated by an IR CO2 laser. In the illuminated area, polyamide is converted to porous graphene or laser-induced graphene. The properties of the laser-induced graphene is controllable through processing parameters. The applications of this material have been limited to supercapacitors and electrical components, but literature suggests it can be designed to be an oil sponge. We hypothesize that the graphene polyamide system can be placed in an oil-water mixture and uptake the local volume of oil selectively with high capacity. Unlike most oil sponges, literature has indicated that the majority of oil can be recovered from our laser-induced porous graphene sponge by applying an external load, such as a mechanical force. We have broken up this design into two components, a design on the macro scale and a design on the nano scale, or at least the quasi macro scale. For macro scale modeling, we used finite element computations in MATLAB to understand fluid flow through porous media. We did this by applying Fick's law in conjunction with Darcy's law. For nanoscale modeling or atomistic modeling, we use both energy minimizations and molecular dynamics to understand the porous graphene and alkane interactions on the atomic scale. Specifically, the energy minimizations used a quantum mechanical approach in VASP and the molecular dynamics used the air rebo potential in LAMPS. we used a finite element approach and divided our system into a series of nodes as shown in this diagram. Then, using Darcy's law as a governing equation, we simulated the fluid flow by plotting the stream function, which is related to the velocity of the incident fluid. The propagation in the color map represents the stream function as the initially empty system converges to a steady state. At this point, we noticed that the system was completely closed when the fluid is uniformly applied over the surface. So, to increase the velocity of the fluid throughout the porous graphene, we decided to open the back polyamide substrate. The resulting image, with a large stream function throughout the color map, is shown here. Absorption versus time for different pore sizes to understand the relationship between porosity and alkane absorption. 
As you can see, we found the pore size to not influence absorption. This contradicts other literature, but is most likely due to a non-ideal device configuration. The graphene sheets show up as two blue peaks in this graph. The graph also shows the formation of layers of octane at various distances as red peaks. This is significant because the graph shows potential for a tri-layer absorption instead of a monolayer or bulk absorption, as seen previously in the snapshots. We tested our hypothesis experimentally using a prototype fabricated by the Tor group at Rice University. We obtained three 2.4 cm squared samples of laser-induced graphene fabricated with a 3.6 watt CO2 laser. To simulate crude oil, we used octane, one of the most prominent alkanes in crude oil. To test the selectivity of our prototype, we completed a simple drop test with water and octane. As you can see, the water did not wet the sample, but the octane instantly wet the surface of the graphene. We tested maximum absorption by fully submerging our samples and measuring the weight gained. We subtracted the mass of the substrate and the graphene to obtain only the weight of the oil absorbed. Our sponge absorbed about 8 grams per gram of graphene, which was less than expected at 80 grams per gram graphene. We also aimed to see if capillary action was occurring within our samples. By partially submerging our sample, we could see the octane wet the graphene and move up through the parts of the material not touching the oil. We found this to occur linearly with time. Thank you to everyone who has given us their time, resources, and guidance. We would like to give a special thanks to Dr. Thamir for his guidance and time helping us to simulate fluid flow. We would also like to thank Dr. Tor from Rice University for providing us with samples to test. We would like to thank Dr. Fana for his guidance throughout the entire semester. And finally, we would like to thank the Materials Science and Engineering Department for funding, support, and everything else they have given their students in the past four years.